today's video is found on page six it has to do with percent of change to find a percent of change change things are different you have to find the difference between the original number and the new number so difference means to subtract them so you're subtracting and that difference goes in the numerator. So it's difference or change. Sometimes I call it difference on the top. The original number, where it started, what came first, where it began, goes on the bottom. And then convert that fraction to a percent. You can use FDP, take the numerator, divide it by the denominator, right? So divide it and then slide it. That's what, probably what I'm going to do. So divide and slide it over to. Um, so difference over original or change over original. I'll say one of those two words. So here's an example. We have a square here that's one unit in length. So its area would be... 1 times 1, which would be 1 unit squared. And this uh, second square's area, it's now 2 by 2. So its area would be 4 units squared. The change, the difference, and sometimes I call the difference delta because the Greek letter, the Greek letter delta means difference. So sometimes you'll see me write this symbol. That's, the, that's delta, the Greek letter, which is why Delta Airlines uses that symbol. We are the different airline. We're better. We're different. Delta means difference in Greek. So difference over the original. So the area went from 1 to 4, so 4 minus 1. I'm always going to take the bigger one, subtract the smaller one, over where it started. So the area, 4 minus 1 would be 3 over 1, is a, then when I change that to a decimal, it's 3, 3 divided by 1, changing it to a percent, the area increased by 300%. So that's a difference or a percent of change of 300%. What is the percent of change of the sides of the two squares? Well, the sides of the two squares, it went from... 1 to 2, so 2 minus 1 over 1. The side length is a 100% change. That means that it doubled, which it did. What is the percent of change in the area? Well, I did that up above here. I did this problem up above here. So it's a 300% change. If you double the length of the square, it triples the area. It actually quadruples the area, but the percent of change is a 300% increase. Was the percent change the same in both A and B? No. The lengths doubled. Was a 100% change, right? 100% increase. And the area quadrupled, but that was a, the area was a 300% change and also an increase. So they were not the same. Nope. Uh, find the percent change of each set of numbers. So that's what we're going to do every time. We're going to do the... De the difference, or what I call the delta, over the original. I'm going to put an O for original, or maybe OR for original. So 8 changes to 5. So 8 minus 5 over the 8. Where did it start? So that's 3 over 8, which I know is the decimal 375 thousandths. And when I slide that over to, right, it's 30, oh, 37 and a half. Percent change, decrease. 9 changes to $15. Well, 15 minus 9, there's my work over the 9. Well, that's 6 ninths, which you all know as 2 thirds. And we know 6 ninths and 2 thirds is that 
sixty six and two thirds percent increase next page on the percent of change from the first number to the second use the same rate of change to find the next number in the pattern round each answer to the same number of decimal places well there are two decimal places here thirty eight and fifty seven right so the percent of change from 57 to 38 difference, right? The difference over the original. The original was 38. That's where the pattern started. 57 minus 38 is 19 over 38. Well, that's one half. Well, that's 50%. So I've got to increase 50% um, of 57. So what's 50% of 57? Well, 5 tenths times 57 gives me 28 and a half. So I'm going to increase 57 by 28 and a half. Well, it says round to the same number of place values. That's 85 and 5. Oh, 85. Why do I keep putting decimals first? 85 and 5 tenths. Same number of decimal place values. I would round this to an 86. So if 57 is increased by 50%, it would go to an 86, approximately. A worker received a raise from 22,000 to 25,000. So I'm going to lob off all those zeros. Uh, 25 minus 22 over 22, because they would just cancel each other out. 25,000 minus 22,000 over 22,000, right? If I left the zeros on there, for those of you that don't believe me, it would be 3,000 over 22,000, right? And I'm just going to cancel those anyway. So 3 over 22, which equals the decimal. 3 divided by 22 is 0. And uh, 36, that 36, 36, 36, 36 keeps repeating, which would give me 13. 0.636363 repeating, because, you know, right, this would be a 3, this would be a 6. So when I slide that over to, now I'm going to have a 6.3 repeating. Well, I don't want to have that in my percent, so I'm going to change it to its equivalent fraction of 63.99 percent, or about, about 14 percent. That's the, that's the exact percent change about 14%. A gallon of gas cost 32 cents in 1972. I actually remember approximately that back in 1972, waiting in gas lines with my dad to get our station wagon filled up. In 2013, gas cost 374. What is the percent of change? Wow, 374, that's about right. It was high back then. Minus 32 cents. Where did it start? Where did it begin? The original 32 cents. Wow. So that's uh, $3.42 over 32 cents, which that equals 10 and 6,875 ten thousandths. When I change that to a percent, yes. When your parents say, oh, the cost of things is going up so much, they're not kidding. That went up 1,068 and 75 hundredths percent, the cost of gas. 1,068% increase. Wow. A family in California bought a house for 538000 in 2001. They sold the house. Ooh, they lost some money for 373000 in 2010. Yes, the market went down in 2008. We had that big crash, 5, 538,000. Um, and again, I'm going to take off the thousands because those three zeros are just going to cancel each other anyway. Minus that 373 over the 538,000. 
would give me 165,000 over 538,000, and I just already canceled all the zeros. So 165 over 538 is about, because it keeps going here, zero decimal point three zero six six nine one four and it keeps going so it's about when I move that over to thirty and seven tenths let's say percent decrease oh yes they lost money on the sale of that house and that happened a lot with people in the early 2000s so that's it for today. When we get to class, we're going to be doing lots of percent of change questions. And it's the difference, as you can see, I was subtracting the delta over the original. So the difference, we're subtracting in the numerator over what came first.